When you are working in the conceptual design environment, you can apply divisions onto paths or edges on a form to define nodes which can host components or component arrays. This facilitates placing many instances of the same element in a finite series. Before you divide a path, you should specify the default divide settings. To do this, you must first select a path. Select one of the top edges of the top angled form. Remember that if you cannot select what you want, you can move your cursor near the object and press Tab to cycle through the available selections. Once the edge highlights, click to select it. With an edge selected, the Modify Form Contextual ribbon displays. On the Divide panel, click the Dialog Launcher to open the default Divide Settings dialog. There are two sections in this dialog, Divided Surface and Divided Path. In the Divided Path section, with Numbers selected, you can specify the number of nodes that will be created when the path is divided. The nodes will be spaced evenly along the path to create equal distance segments. When you select the Other option, you can choose the node layout from a drop-down. The available options are Distance, Maximum Distance, and Minimum Distance. With the Distance layout, you can specify the distance between nodes. With the Maximum Distance or Minimum Distance layout, you can specify the Maximum or Minimum Distance, respectively. The Maximum Distance layout distributes nodes evenly along a path with a maximum distance between nodes while the Minimum Distance layout distributes nodes evenly along a path with a minimum distance between nodes. Lastly, you can set the measurement type to Chord Length or Segment Length. Chord Length is the straight line distance between nodes, while Segment Length is the distance along the path between nodes. Select Number and set the value to 6. Then click OK to close the dialog. With the edge still selected, on the Divide panel, click Divide Path. As soon as you do, the nodes appear along the edge, and the Modify Divided Path contextual ribbon appears with multiple options to edit the divided edge. Also, Pay attention to the temporary value above the divided edge. This is the number of nodes defined along the path, which is the default setting you just specified. If needed, you can select thin lines in the Quick Access Toolbar to see this better. You can click this temporary value and change the number of nodes. For example, enter 8 and press Enter to apply the new value. Click anywhere to deselect the edge. When you do, the nodes still appear along the line, and as you zoom in and out, the nodes stay the same size. Select the edge. The contextual ribbon appears again. In the Divisions and Intersects panel, you can toggle the layout on and off. This will turn the nodes on and off. Expand the Intersect Split button. There are two options here, Intersect and Intersects List. These tools allow you to apply divisions from intersecting planes. With Intersects, you choose the planes in the drawing area, whereas with Intersects List, you choose the planes from the intersecting named References dialog. Moving over to the Path Representation panel, you can toggle the display of the source path on and off. If there were components applied to the divided path, you could use the Component button to toggle the display of applied components on and off. Now click the Dialog Launcher on the panel title bar. When you do, the Path Representation dialog appears. This dialog is per instance. 
you can select whether or not the original path and nodes are shown. Deselect nodes and click OK. When you deselect the edge, you can no longer see the nodes. However, when you hover the cursor over the edge, the edge highlights and the nodes can be seen. Select the edge again, open the path representation dialog, and turn the nodes back on. Then click OK to close the dialog. With the edge still selected, pay attention to the parameters in the Properties palette. First, you can change the default layout. Click in the field and expand the drop down. You can select None, Fixed Number, Fixed Distance, Minimum Distance, and Maximum Distance. These options correlate to the options in the default Divide Settings dialog, except None is now available. With Fixed Number, you can specify the number, whereas with Fixed Distance, you can specify the distance as well as the justification. Justification can be set to Beginning, Center, or End. This is where the first node will be placed and the second node will be measured from. When you choose Minimum or Maximum Distance for the layout, a Minimum or Maximum Distance parameter displays. Also, realize that you can change the default measurement type. The available options are the same here, chord length or segment length. Change the layout back to fixed number and set the number to 10. The remaining parameters in the Properties palette under Nodes let you choose whether or not to show the node numbers, flip the direction of the nodes, or add an indent at the beginning or end. Now activate the Line tool and sketch a line anywhere in the drawing area, and then click Modify to end the command. Select the line and the Modify Lines contextual ribbon displays. The Divide Path tool is available in the Divide panel once again. Click Divide Path and the line is divided. Now activate the Reference Line tool and sketch a reference line next to the model line. Click Modify to end the command. Next, select the reference line and choose Divide Path. Once again, the line is divided and nodes are added to the line. As you can see, the same options are available to edit the divided path. However, Pay attention to the fact that you cannot create a form with either line now that the path has been divided.